we see the extent of money, the monetization of our politics. We see the extent to which it takes just the appointment of the president, not your qualification, not your competence, not your skills, but the appointment by the president to all of a sudden become wealthy. And I believe that the president should also be concerned about these, and he is better placed to write many of these than a lot of us, even though we all have a collective responsibility. And so, you know, if we hear about almost three billion going into corruption, three billion dollars going into corruption every year, and yet we have national service personnel who are not being paid for months of less than 600 Ghana cities a month. We have, you know, um, contracts that we all know are cooked and figures inflated. And yet we have young people recruited into uh, things like NAPCO and so on, and they go on for months without pay. We have, you know, young people who are struggling. And last week or so, you read to all of us the allowances and the fat salaries and so on and so forth that people are earning. This is not sustainable. And I think that, as the president said, it is good that he recognizes it. And I believe that steps must be taken to begin to improve the structures that will serve as the pillars for our democracy. Otherwise, what we have now certainly is not sustainable, but of course, better than going back to the military era. Um, Mary, 